what I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a peach if you find the same. And right now, I feel like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders, uh, the founders you've heard of and some you've never heard of, uh, P90X founder, Tony Horton. You know, I like to tell the stories, Bill, of like the biggest challenges in their career. And Tony Horton talked about how he made money as a street mime. Um, and before selling hundreds of millions of dollars of P90X, he would put his head on the street and that's how he made his food and rent money. Uh, and Baby Einstein founder Julie Clark talked about growing her company to $20 million with five employees and selling to Disney. But I thought the most impressive part was her beating cancer twice and her talking about that. And Atari founder Nolan Bushnell talked about how when he was Steve Jobs' mentor, Steve offered Nolan 33% of Apple for $50,000 and why he said no at the time. And all of us probably would have said no, he said to a punk 21-year-old kid asking us for, at the equivalent $400,000. So um, I am going to introduce today's legendary guest in a second, but this episode is brought to you by Rise25. I co-founded it with my business partner, John Corcoran, and we help B2B businesses connect to their Dream 100 clients and referral partners um, by helping you run and launch your podcast so it generates ROI. Um, it was inspired, actually, I was inspired a podcast from my grandfather who was actually a Holocaust survivor and him and his brother were in concentration camps in Nazi Germany, and they were the only people to survive in their family. You're wondering, how does that have to do with podcasting? Well, the uh, Holocaust Foundation interviewed my grandfather, and his legacy lives on because of that interview. And that interview is on my about page on Spirit Insider, um, and it just motivates me. Yes, like podcasting can help your business but it helps you and your guests leave a legacy of knowledge beyond us living. And I, you know, just, I watch that interview multiple times a year and other people do too. And so it really motivates me to help other people do the same, but I do credit podcasting to be the single best thing I've done for my business and my life because of the amazing relationships I've made. So if you have questions, I think everyone like Bill would say right now, anyone who is a chiropractor, a dentist, or any professional should have a website and digital communication because that's the ultimate way to communicate. I think every business should have a podcast. So if you have questions, uh, email us, support at rise25media.com. And um, I want to thank Josh Long um, for introducing me to today's guest. And you can check out um, his Audible and Amazon, uh, his book on Audible and Amazon, Bottleneck Breakthrough. I've listened to it, loved it. If you want to find out how to fix your number one business challenge on my growth fast, which who doesn't, check out his book. Like who, who doesn't want to build, eliminate bottlenecks from their business, right? And so um, I'm going to let Bill talk in a second, but you know, he needs no introduction. He's legendary in the chiropractic marketing education world. He's been helping chiropractors even before 1987, but 1987, I think, formally and i've been studying his his materials and his knowledge and education marketing for over 20 years myself and he just boils down complex things in a very simple ways to communicate and it's it's groundbreaking for any profession so i i say i don't care what profession you're in if you're in dentistry chiropractic anything see how he actually creates education and knowledge to um, help people understand complex things. So he has Backtalk, founder of Backtalk Systems, which are like his report, report of findings, Magazettes that he invented. I was reading and over and over and over. He's founded Patient Media, Perfect Patients, um, and also Smile Marketing for dentists. So not just chiropractors and other professionals too. So Bill, thank you. Thank you. You know, I always ask because it's an inspired insider and you talked about like a really low moment for you as you were going on those runs and how you pushed through that. So I appreciate you sharing that. Um, on the flip side, what's been a especially proud moment for you on this journey? No, oh, I'm not sure that I would call it pride um, because the fall comes after that. But um, what was particularly inspiring for me happened a year ago. 
um, almost a little over a year ago now. Um, I have really had a really good friend, um, chiropractor in Yakima, Washington, uh, James Milliron. And he and I and his wife, Gina, we met when we were both involved in speaking on a seminar in Surfer's Paradise, Queensland, Australia. It's a wonderful place, it, just as great as it sounds. And we were doing a seminar there and we got to know each other and we became fast friends. This was be 1988. And so um, he, he was kind of a sounding board for me um, in terms of chiropractic. And he was a special person who um, passed away um, mm-hmm. uh, last uh, a year ago, September. And, hear that. Um, yeah, and and um, I was one of seven individuals uh, who was invited to s- share a few words, uh, which I'd never done before at a at a life life se- uh, you know s- celebration meeting. Which isn't the point, uh, but what was the point was that because of James's service, because of his heart, because of his love for people and service to patients. For his life ceremony, they they had to rent the convention center in Yakima, Washington wow. for the 500 people in that community that showed up to say thank you and goodbye. And that has stayed with me ever since. And um, gosh, if I could ever... Um, wield that sort of influence and to uh, share that much love uh, with that many people. I mean, that would, that'd be a a full life. And um, that's, that's what I, that's what I keep my eye on now. Hmm. What was, what was the lesson you learned from him? Live life to the full because life is a gift. He would say life is a gift. I mean, that would just, that was his, his deal. And his dinner table always had a guest. Um, there was, a, he just grabbed life uh, to the full. And um, he, was a, he, he, was, he was a Renaissance man. He was a poet. He was a horseman. He was a sailor. He was a chiropractor. Um, he, was, uh, he was a wine aficionado. He, was, he, was, he, he, he just was gentle. And um, he was a chiropractor's chiropractor. Hmm. Bill, I'm going to be the first one to thank you. Everyone should check out <clears throat> patientmedia.com. They should check out perfectpatients.com and also um, smilemarketing.com. Any other places we should point people to online? If you are a dentist or a chiropractor and you actually want some like almost almost done for you stuff to actually you know, convert and, and help your practice, check out those sites. Any, any other places, Bill, we should point people? Well, you know, I would love to have a conversation with anyone who's made it through this hour and I'm extremely available and uh, would love to get your emails and questions and we'll, we'll talk, you know, it's, uh, I'm here to serve. Should we just point people to the contact on the website or a specific email? Yeah, or just bill at patientmedia.com. I mean, that's, or bill at perfectpatients.com or bill at smilemarketing.com. Same deal, so. Bill, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.